I'd like to introduce Gary Hurst, who founded MISA in 2017, having previously worked for Bridge Street and CityBase, where he saw firsthand the challenges that corporate buyers faced when trying to book serviced accommodation. The process was described as very laborious and the industry as a whole lacked the appropriate technology. He has worked with some of the world's largest corporations and listened to the frustrations of many travel and global mobility managers. Having previously held a position on the ASAP's board, Gary has been passionate about helping ASAP uh, and the rest of the industry raise the profile of safe and secure serviced accommodation for corporate travel. Add this to the task of addressing distribution and booking efficiency, MISA was born, and Gary and his team set out to explore technical solutions that would benefit both the corporate buyer and serviced accommodation operators. So Gary, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, thank you for having me, James. Thank you. It's, it's Appreciate great it. with us. So we've heard a lot about what you're doing um, and Myo. So tell us a little bit about it and how it differs from other booking platforms. Well, James, it's not, it's, I wouldn't actually call it a booking platform. I think that, that that's the, the sort of um, uh, first thing I'd point out. What, what I wanted to do is create a community um, for the operators within within the sector um, to be able to reach out to the corporate market um, and, and to have the ability to really um, enhance their, their brand reputation. And I think they've lost that opportunity over the last few years. I think most of the business that, that's received by the operators comes through third party channels. Um, I think they had that ability previously to, to, to work on local relationships um, with, with, um, with corporations. And I think what we've seen over the past sort of five, six, seven years is that these corporations have centralized uh, their programs. Um, so, and, and, and basically gone through a single channel. So it, what I was trying to do was, was create um, um, a, a, a new um, marketplace within within the industry where we're, we're actually matching corporate buyers with the people who actually provide the accommodation. And um, in order to do that, I, I thought technology had to play a major part. And yes, you're right, there has to be a booking engine to that uh, in order to actually uh, fulfill the, the, the actual booking itself. But we wanted to create something that was a little bit more than that. Um, and we know that the, the, the corporate market have the challenge of not being able to um, ne necessarily build their own service accommodation program that, that sits next to their hotel program, sits next, sits next, door, uh, next to their airline program. It, it, it hasn't really been possible before. It's not, the properties haven't been accessible. They're generally not on the GDS. So it was really, it was about creating um, a platform, a marketplace that actually brought these two parties together, the people with the accommodation and people with, 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 that, that have the need, basically. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's more than a booking platform, in other words. It's like, a, I think you use the word community or a, um, um, an environment where the buyer can interact directly with the provider. So what does that mean then for a serviced accommodation operator? Um, what, what it means, James, is that, that they, they can obviously go to market without, you know, having to pay high levels of commission. Um, you know, we know that um, through the various channels um, that, that, that they sell the, the products through at the moment, um, you know, are, are expecting commission levels, you know, up to the up to 20 odd percent, you know, particularly with the, the OTAs. Um, and that's a, that's a huge amount of um, cost that, that, that's going into, um, you know, a third party pocket. So um, I, I think from, from um, an operator's perspective, this is, this is an ability to um, create um, biz a business channel that doesn't involve as much um, cost of sale for them. Um, and, and, and obviously we know what, what the benefits are from there, be, you know, the revenue uh, or certainly the profitability increases for, for, for members. Um, and, not, and not just directly as well. I think, I think from a, an indirect perspective, I mean, if you're, 
if you're used to 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 the channels that, that are open at the moment, quite often a lot of those bookings or inquiries are manual. You need somebody to manually book, um, or sorry, not to book, but manually provide the options and the quotations. You probably quite often in the pot with four or five other operators. So you're actually doing quite a lot of work for the potential of not receiving the business. Um, so there's a lot of indirect savings. I think our platform will, will introduce um, where business is actually happening without that the operator actually knowing. You know, we connect through um, the rate channel managers and the, into the property management system. So I, th I think the overall efficiency that, that we've created um, will benefit um, operators and say both, you know, through direct cost of sale, but, but certainly indirect administration costs as well. And I suppose any operator will ask one of two things here. What are the financial benefits? So you talked about some of the commission rates, the OTAs um, charge. Um, how would that compare with your solution? And of course, what is the likelihood of an operator receiving the business when they are working with you? That would be the first two questions I imagine they'd be interested in asking. Um, yeah, I, I would I would sort of describe, the, describe us as an enabler um, James, because what we're what we're trying to do, I think, through through um, the conversations we've had with with um, corporations through our roundtables, um, what what we've heard is that the, the operator, uh, the, the corporates want the opportunity to take control over which um, properties they would include in their program, because you know there's an element of um, uh, uncertainty, I think. You know, with with our industry, because most of the buyers don't know most of the brands that are in in our sector. Um, you know, quite often they're hidden, um, whereas they're dealing directly with, you know, major hotel brands, the Hiltons, the Marriotts, etc., etc., etc. So they know what they're going to get within 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 um, those um, hotel chains. So I think what what's important um, is that they get visibility. They, they have a whole transparent process to be able to understand and uh, know the operators that are going to be on their program. So what it acts as is a faci facilitator to allow that, that the corporate buyers to actually choose which operators have, you know, the, the, the most um, relevant properties and whether that's to do with um, distance from where they need to be, the quality, the safety security elements of it. You know, all, all of that sort of comes in a package. And, and what we've tried to do on the platform is, is make it possible for the corporates to be able to view all of this um, um, detail of the operators and for the operators then to actually sort of say, hey, I, I want to be on your program. You know, the, 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 the RFPs that we run through, the, the procurement exercises we do through it, they actually are open to all operators on the system. So the operators actually can hand pick which corporates or parties that they, 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 they want to work with. So we are an enabler. So we're, we're more about distributing the content, the, the operator's content out to the open corporate market. And therefore we can reduce the costs quite considerably. You know, they, they can expect to pay a third if not a quarter of some of the, the commission levels they're paying. Um, and, and obviously having that ability to have that direct relationship uh, means that they can actually you know, negotiate you know, that with those corporates um, uh, based on potentially on the volume that's, that, that's, that's coming through. Um, so they've got more control over their, their, their financial stability, I think. And that was going to be my next question. What are the financial benefits? So you say possibly 25, 30% of the costs that they're currently paying through OTA fees or, or equivalents. Yeah, yes, absolutely. And, and I say, I think, I think um, above that are, are the, um, you know, the, the sort of indirect costs I think they can, they can expect to, to um, benefit from. And, and, and what we've tried to do within the, the technologies, it's not just about the corporate. In fact, it's equally about the operator. So everything that, that we've created in the platform with regards to management information and intelligence, it's available for the operators as well. So that they can fine tune 
you know, the, 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 their business and look at, you know, were there missing opportunities um, and, and um, you know, give them the data to, to actually absorb and go, okay, we're going to do this so that we get more, you know, more of those bookings. So we actually, yeah, even for the distribution cost that, 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 um, that the, the platform has, we, we provide a lot of value for that. Uh, and, and intelligence and we want to grow with our operators so we want our operators to, to to benefit from this fascinating thank you very much gary and thank you everyone at MISA for your support you're a huge supporter of asap and we really do appreciate that but if anyone wants to get in touch with you you're going to feature on our industry industrial supplier page so we can actually see you that way how else can our members get in touch if they need to um, they can uh, jump onto our website, which is um, mysa.global, uh, um, and uh, there's the opportunity to um, see what we're all about, and um, and also contact us through 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 that platform. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Gary. Great talking to you today, and uh, good luck with everything. Thank you, James. Thank you for the um, invitation.